Judge says CIA need not release drone strike files. A federal judge ruled Friday that the Central Intelligence Agency does not have to release any records related to its use of unmanned drone aircraft to kill suspected terrorists in Pakistan, Afghanistan and elsewhere. Weatherman found near corpse hopes to clear name. The Arkansas weatherman found last week in a hot tub alongside a man's lifeless, naked body is hoping autopsy results and other evidence will soon clear his name, his lawyer said Monday. Mark Hampton told CNN that his client, Brett Cummins, resigned last Friday from his position as a meteorologist at KARK, which is based in Little Rock. Creating Juvenile Zombies, Florida Style The Post found that Florida purchased 326,081 tablets of Seroquil, Abilify, Risperdal and other antipsychotic drugs during a two-year period for the boys and girls who occupy the 2,300 beds in state-run residential facilities. Most of the state's juvenile offenders are held in jails operated by for-profit contractors. Records revealing the quantity of medications that private companies pour down their prisoners' gullets were not available. Heartbreaking pictures from New Jersey's homeless tent city. Tent city made the news recently and while community leader Stephen Brigham says the media attention brought in greater donations, it also brought unwanted attention from the local politicians. After battling with the city for years to have access to the public land here, Brigham found a New Jersey lawyer to represent his case pro bono. My Potato Project The Importance of Organic A child's experiment turns into a lesson on the toxins in our food supply. I decided to do an experiment on how long it would take for a potato to grow vines. We would, me and my grandma went to the grocery store to get some potatoes. A sweet potato. All you do is put a sweet potato in a glass of water and wait for it to grow vines. We took a sweet potato and waited for three weeks. Nothing happened. We took another potato and waited for three more weeks. Nothing happened. So we talked to the produce man at the store. And he said, well, these will never grow vines. At the farms, they spray them with a chemical called budnip. You should try one of our organic sweet potatoes. And over a month, it finally grew these wimpy little vines. Over that time, we Roots Market, Roots Organic Food Market, and got a sweet potato there. It only took one week for it to sprout. And look at it now! Now for something bizarre, glowing transgenic cats. Yes, they glow. Three cats genetically modified to resist feline immunodeficiency virus. The genetically modified cats carry an extra monkey gene, called Trimsip. Find My Car app can also catch crooks. Westfield's new app means you'll never lose your car in the shopping center again. And police now have at their fingertips technology to track down stolen and unregistered vehicles. The app is used by shoppers of all Westfield stores around the nation. But only the Bondi Junction shopping center has a function in the app for finding cars by their number plate, which was added in August. A code for what ails you. Today, hospitals and doctors use a system of about 18,000 codes to describe medical services in bills they send to insurers. Here's a few of those such codes. earthquake reported three miles south of Center Point, Alabama. The U.S. Geological Survey is reporting a 3.0 earthquake was detected about three miles south of Center Point this afternoon. The earthquake was reported just before 6 p.m. A Trustville police dispatcher said his department had received a few calls from residents who felt the tremor but had not received any reports of structural damage. 
A sophisticated new camera system can detect lies just by watching our faces as we talk, experts say. This new approach builds on years of research into how we all unconsciously, involuntarily reveal our emotions in subtle changes of expression and the flow of blood to our skin. We give our emotions away in our eye movements, dilated pupils, biting or pressing together our lips, wrinkling our noses, breathing heavily, swallowing, blinking and facial asymmetry. And these are just the visible signs seen by the camera. Here's some propaganda for you to decipher, as, it is believed that BP and the government are to blame. This Wall Street Journal article says, that a government report points finger at BP and its contractors for failures that led to the oil spill in Gulf of Mexico. The report, which will contain about 50 recommendations for changes to offshore oil work, is expected to be released as early as Wednesday, after 17 months of investigation of the incident. An interesting article from before its news about, predictive programming, what did knowing really know? You know, these insider movie producers have a lot at their fingertips we're apparently not privy to. Actually, many have testified they've been given the ideas or script changes by apparent operatives. Especially when they have these huge scenes of military operations you know the suppliers of all this equipment have a heavy hand on the scale. Can the NYPD CIA Borg save us from the FBI's terrorists? It's an incredibly shocking story, the sort that would once have horrified every American regardless of his politics, one that completely eviscerates the Constitution and renders everything this country supposedly represents, moot. And yet you have paid any attention while even fewer are outraged. In fact, most who've heard about it cheer our rulers as heroes. That's right, the CIA with its medical experiments on unwitting subjects, its torture, its vicious skullduggery in other people's countries, its assassinations, and its utter contempt for all law, foreign, domestic or heavenly, has been teaching its tricks to the NYPD. To promote its new fall drama person of interest, CBS Corporation is turning its eye on viewers. To highlight the show's theme of citizen surveillance, CBS is tapping into the trend of interactive billboards, installing one each in New York City and Los Angeles. The window display looks like a mirror, and when passers-by stop and turn toward it, sensors zero in on their faces with a notification, person of interest identified, followed by taking photo. Tropical storm Maria to follow her big sister Claudia and turn away from U.S. coast. The storm, no longer expected to reach hurricane strength, is 760 miles south-southwest of Bermuda and moving north-northwest at 5 miles per hour. The forecast path has Maria passing west of or over Bermuda early on September 15th, then east of Nova Scotia before possibly hitting Newfoundland on September 16th. Energy assets in the storm's potential path include the Sable Offshore Energy, and a natural gas field off Canada. Pakistani geologists find mud volcanoes on island that arose from ocean-emitting methane. Scientists are studying the water and sediment samples collected from the one square kilometer island that had emerged off the Makran coast last year. Yes, emerged. The recent appearance of the island was looked at as the re-emergence of the past island, Malan, 